hi everyone hope you all are having a good day so some of you might know i'm working on this ui library called retro ui to make this project possible i'm using a bunch of tools you can call it my tech stack for building ui libraries in this video i'll be sharing that with you even though the project is fully open source and you can probably find most of this on the github repository but gotta make a video right so everything kind of starts from this figma file where we have all our design components for example here i have the button with all the variants like primary secondary outline and links and you can also see the examples of different states like this is how it looks when it's like regular when you hover over it it gets a little dark and then when you click on it then when it's disabled there's also other ones like different examples of cards uh, inputs badges and everything else basically so once you have the design or the idea of the look and feel i start coding on it and for that i primarily use next.js it's a react based framework that makes my life so much easier comes with a really cool features like built-in optimization uh, react server components data fetching server or client rendering middleware and lots of other cool stuff so definitely my go-to uh, javascript frameworks next for styling i use tailwind css i don't think i need to describe what tailwind css to you but basically it just gives you a bunch of utility classes that you can use in your component it not only just makes my life easier but i think it really helps you to customize the components as well uh, let me show you an example so if you go to retro ui let's go to documentation badge so you can see the style we give you with a default badge component uh, with some variants like default outline solid and surface and all uh, you can see how they look now this is nice but there is no like border radius right but if you want border radius you can easily do that with Telvin CSS like we have an example here uh, with some rounded badges you see the code importing the default badge but in the class name you can pass any classes you want and that makes it super easy to customize uh, the components as you want now Tailwind works really well for the most part but at the end of the day it's only a bunch of utility classes right you have to combine them to make your own stuff or components so if you just try to build everything by yourself it takes a lot of time uh, for example we go to dialogue here you can see a dialogue example like just making this component from the ground up will take a lot of effort like for example when you click on this it shows the dialogue and when you click cancel it closes it so you have to track the state by yourself and the animations the references everything so to make our life easier we use this library called radix ui i think it's called it comes with a lot of pre-built components if you see the dialogue uh, this one you click on this you can see the dialogue so this is the dialogue we are using uh, under the hood in our ui library Redix UI works really well because it doesn't have a very strong design language so we can just easily customize to have the look that we want right you can also see that from that our documentation where in the installation guide we are suggesting Redix UI dialog to install and also uh, Tailwind animation you see the code you can see how we are importing the uh, Redix UI dialog and then customize it to uh, fit our own need next for all of our icons we use this library called lucid icon it looks really good and has a very large collection of icons and i believe it goes really well uh, with our design language like for example in the website here you can see a github icon uh, this one so we are using that from here so if you just search for github yeah so this is the one we are using for handling all of our content or documentation i'm using mdx it's basically markdown that lets you write gsx like the docs you see in the website like all these headings paragraphs button examples everything is coming from uh, mdx i'll show you in the code we have this content folder in the components folder here you can see all the components like accordions badge dialog 
button cards and all so let's click on the dialog you can see i'm using h2 uh, for the headings and then h4 for smaller headings and this is the code blocks you see over here but the interesting thing with mdx is you can see this component component showcase this is actually a jsx component like this one that you can just directly import uh, in your markdown files so uh, that's what uh, mdx allows you to do now to make our content or this static mdx files type safe i'm using content layer uh, it is a very cool tool uh, let me show you its superpowers so on each of our content file on top you will see some highlights like some key data like title uh, description last updated and these are separated by this three dash from the rest of the content and every content file has that like inside text uh, i have this and inside card basically in button like all of the components right now this structure lets us do some pretty cool stuff like if i show you the docs site like this page which is responsible for rendering all these uh, docs pages you can see i'm importing the doc and here i'm saying doc.title remove this and zoom in if press dot you can see it's actually suggesting the types like i have the title type url uh, description and all that and if i use a wrong type like blah 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 you can see it gives an error because this type doesn't exist right so we'll have to use a proper type so yeah super cool tool make sure to check it out it really improves the uh, user experience of working with uh, mdx files uh, next for syntax highlighting i'm using this tool called rehype pd code uh, like if you check our website like all of the codes are syntax highlighted right uh, this makes looking at code a lot more pleasant and we are able to do this thanks to rehype pd code now for hosting our application i'm using a uh, vps from dissolution it has one gigs of ram and 25 gigs of ssd i know some of you might ask the website looks static so why am i not like statically just exporting it well that's because i have plans to add like premium components in near future so some of these components are free and will remain open source but i will add some premium components that will be behind an paywall so yeah i will need like database queries and apis for all that i might make a updated video in the future uh, addressing all those features next i am using docker hub to host my uh, docker images and for all the ci cd stuff i'm using github actions i made a detailed video on how the whole ci cd pipeline is working so make sure to check it out and yeah that's all guys thanks to you retro ui just recently crossed 100 stars so yeah that's pretty cool make sure to check it out and leave a star if you haven't yet and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye